Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to determine if a given coordinate is a solution of the linear system. So, say we have a linear system that looks something like this. x plus 4y equals negative 5. So we want to determine as to whether the point, as to where the point, 9 over 5, negative 13 over 5 is a solution to this linear system. You may recognize this linear system from my video that covers substitution in solving the linear system. and. Yes, in fact, indeed, this is a solution of the linear system as shown from my other video where I solved it using the substitution method. However, let's say that we didn't know as to whether it was a solution. And let's say after solving that system, you want to check if your answer is correct. You want to check if your answer is correct. And to do that, we have to basically plug this coordinate back into the linear system to see if the left side equals right side and if it satisfies both equations. So to do that, we have to basically substitute in this in, right? And this is basically our x, 9 over 5 is our x, and our y is negative 13 over 5. So we have to substitute this back in, right, into each of these equations. So let's look at the first equation, x minus 2y equals 7. So we have to sub in this, right? x equals 9 over 5 and y equals negative 13 over 5 corresponding here, right? And we have to substitute it in and we have to check if it, the left side is equal to the right side. So here, this is our left side. This is our left side, right? And this is our right side. So our left side is equal to x minus 2y. So that's going to be equal to, if we substitute these numbers in, this x is going to be 9 over 5, and the y is going to be negative 13 over 5. Right, our left side. And then 9 over 5, and we just basically um, simplify this, so negative and negative makes a positive, so it's going to be positive. 2 times 13 is 26, it's 26 over 5. And then from here, 9 plus 26 is going to give us, it's going to give us 35, and then this is all over 5. And we know 35 over 5, we simplify it, it's going to give us 7. So we get 7 on the left side, and our right side, right, this is our left side, we just basically covered this side, now we have to cover our right side. So our right side is equal to 7, as copied here. So as we can see, well, let me just draw a dividing line. As we can see here, our left side is the same as our right side, right? They're equal, because they're both equal to 7. So left side is equal to right side. And since the left side is equal to the right side for this first equation, right, which was this equation, we just copied it here. Therefore, it satisfies this equation. So we can put a check mark beside this equation. Now let's check the second equation, okay, to see if it satisfies the second equation as well. So the second equation was 3x plus 4y equals to negative 5. And from here, we just have to plug in our x and our y values as shown before. So we have to substitute our x value, which is equal to 9 over 5. And our y value, which is equal to negative 13 over 5. So it's going to be negative 13, 5. And then we have to substitute it into the left side of the equation because that's where all the x and y's are, and our right side is just negative 5, so let's work with the left side first. So left side is equal to 3x plus 4y, if I was just copy that, and our right side is negative 5, right? 
as shown right here. This is our right side. This is our left side. Yes, this is on the left of the equal sign. This is on the right of the equal sign. So from here, let's just longer. From here, 3x plus 4y. Well, we just plug in our x, which is 9 over 5. And then here, we just plug in our y. Right, so 4 times y. y is negative 13 over 5. And then just simplify it. So 3 times 9 is 27. This is over 5. And then 13 times 4 is 52. So we write 52. And we also have a negative here. So it's going to be negative 52 over 5 from here. And then simplifying that, we basically get negative 25 here, right? 27 minus 52. So it's negative 25, and we can basically combine them because we have a common denominator. Our denominator is 5, right? So that's how we can do that. So it's over 5, and negative 25 over 5 is the same as if you basically do negative 25 divide by 5, it's going to be negative 5. So we have simplified that, and our right side, hey, is also equal to negative 5. So our left side, in this case, is equal to right side. So that's great. And so that means that it also satisfies this equation. So here we have satisfied both equations using this solution. So this, in fact, is a solution of the given linear system. So therefore, we can write that therefore, therefore, 9 over 5, negative 13 over 5 is a solution of the system, this system right here. So now let's say we are given another linear system that looks something like this, and we are to determine as to whether the point 82 is a solution of the system. So same thing as before, we have to check if the left side is equal to right side, and if basically x being 8 and y being 2 satisfies both equations. So first equation, we look at 3x minus 2y equals 20. So this equation right here, right, I'm just copy it here, and we are going to check the left side and the right side. So we're going to sub in our x, which is 8, and our y, which is 2. y equals 2. And then here it's going to be left side is equal to 3x minus 2y, so 3x minus 2y. Our right side is equal to 20, just like that. And then I'm just gonna divide this up. Okay, so x is equal to eight, so I'm gonna plug in this x and replace it with eight. Our y is equal to two, so I'm gonna plug in our two right here into this y right here. So replacing the y right here with two, replacing the x right here with eight, because x is equal to eight and y equals two. So, 3 times 8, now we just simplify this, so 3 times 8, we get 24, and this is 2 times 2, it's going to be 4, and we have to subtract them, shown the subtraction sign, and then we see 24 minus 4 is going to give us 20. So hey, our left side and right side, they are equal. Satisfies? Great! So, thus, we satisfy the first equation. So great, we satisfy this one. And now we have to check the second equation before we even draw any conclusions about whether this point is a solution of the linear system. We're going to see if this point right here satisfies the second equation. So our second equation was negative x plus y equals 9. So I'm going to copy that right here, negative x plus y equals 9. And we are going to sub in this point, right? So we're going to sum in that point, which is basically x equals 2, 8, and y equals 2 from here, right? x equals 8, y equals 2. So I'm going to sub this basically in to here. So we only have x and y on the left side, just like before. So left side, we just sub it into our left side then. So the left side is equal to negative x plus y. Right? 
uh, right side is equal to 9. So from here, we just sub in our x. x is 8, so this, eight, this is going to be 8. So 8 in this x, and then y is going to be 2. Show here, plug in 2 right here. Negative 8 plus 2 is negative 6. Left side is equal to negative 6, right side is equal to 9. And negative 6 is not equal to 9. And since negative 6 is not equal to 9, thus left side is not equal to right side. And since the left side is not equal to right side, this equation is not satisfied. This equation is satisfied, but this equation is not. Okay, so that basically means that this point is not a solution. So this 82 is not a solution to the linear system. Okay, this is the end of my video. I hope it helped. Feel free to let me know in the comments down below on your thoughts about this video. And furthermore, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like. And if you are new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Anyways, I hope to see you next time for another math video. Bye.